Mike, drop your Am I kid. supposed to be in this shot? Uh, blame drop your kid. <laughs> speaking on like a panel with a bunch of different people in esports and different artists who are interested in games and I think it was awesome. I think talking to people who are just as passionate about the things that you do is, is great. It was a ton of fun and I'm really happy that Network and Champs had us out here for this. I'm Sheila or Pterodactyls for the win. I've been playing Counter-Strike for about five years now, and I've been streaming it pretty much consistently all those five years. Joined Optic last year, actually in a week it'll be my one year anniversary. It's been amazing. When I first joined Optic, I was super nervous about meeting everyone else, the content creators, and, and I wasn't sure if they would like accept me because I know how deep the connection and the bonds between everyone is and how great of friends that they all really are and uh i was just so worried of like f fitting in and you know i just i didn't want to like step on anyone's toes and i was like i'm just gonna do my own content and when i'm in stuff like i'll just you know be friendly hopefully we'll get along it ended up being like they were super welcoming really easy it, it felt super comfortable to hang out with everyone and uh i think ashley was the first to really like just welcomed me in and it was you know it just it was easy it felt good um i was contemplating moving into the house but there is no way in hell that i would want to live with one million men and myself and my cats and my dog and my lizard so uh, i found a nice little place i uh, moved in actually it's been like a m little over a month now i think um and it's uh it's actually really great. I was stressed moving, but I'm glad that I'm that I'm here now. Growth would be as crazy as it is. The the fan base and the support and the love has been amazing and you know, working with the other content creators and everyone else has been uh it's been a lot of fun. It's been I moved closer now, so I get to be doing more videos hopefully and I'll be in more content and you know, you'll see my stream and we're putting up YouTube videos now and just gonna just gonna see a lot more of my face. All right, if he's gonna do this, I'm ripping the jewel. <laughs> Avengers Endgame, April 24th. Whatever it takes. So coming off of Pro League, we were, we finished three and one. We were a garbage team. Um, pretty much we were completely average. And uh, the team we are today is completely different. Uh, we, we made a whole bunch of changes since we turned off the live streams, you know, focus on ourselves uh, rather than just, you know, trying to make that, that, that Twitch money almost. Well, you know, it might suck for people who watch scrims every day. At the end of the day, like, tournaments come first you know we're players first and uh we it's almost like we forgot that and and now it's like back to that that you know getting in that zone and uh you know i i think this is like we're just so much better now now it's like night and day difference if you were if we were to turn our stream on or our streams on today we'd be literally a completely different team um we changed a lot of like fundamental things uh, in terms of our gameplay, not in terms of roles, in terms of specialists, all that. Uh, we're more, we're all more focused on you know what we need to do uh, as individuals, and that helps out the team a lot. I think what helped a lot was I was like overcompensating for you know lack of like pressure uh, in terms of you know in the hill or in the hard point. Like I was playing way too fast with ICR. And I think it sort of goes hand in hand with how your other teammates perform, at least my role. Uh, you sort of have to play a lot slower than everyone else. You gotta, you know, play for spawns a lot more. You're gonna get in a lot, a lot less engagements. And 
it was like, I don't know when it happened, probably a week before Fort Worth. I was like, I was playing, you know, perfect lights out. And then, and then I started realizing like, hey, like I just got spawns. Why are we still not breaking the hill? So then I would just hit hill and, you know, go one for one on a trade. And it would just be bad where, where now I'm like trusting my teammates to get those kills around the hill. I'll let them go first and pretty much just set our team up just to win, get time, win, win control points and stuff like that. So uh, the ICR role is just a lot of trust in, in how your other your teammates perform. And that's sort of what I realize now. I love going to Europe for tournaments. I, uh, I have a pretty good track record there, so that's nice. But I, I, for some reason at, at European tournaments, I don't know, man. I just shoot a lot straighter. So hopefully, let's get champs in uh, in Europe or something like that. That would be nice. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I think it's honestly like, I, I think it has to do something with the flights because I've never won a tournament I didn't have to travel to. And like, it's sort of like the flights just sort of get me in my zone. Start focusing on like, you know, what I need to do within a match, like who my opponents are, like all that stuff like that. So. I think that those long flights actually helped me a lot, and I'm really excited for London. London, the, the venue's sick. The venue, G3, last time we were there, we got a, uh, or my team, I don't think Damon wasn't on the team. I think Damon's team got second. But uh, yeah, we didn't play so well, but I thought the venue was absolutely incredible. So really happy to go back. I think it's probably one of the coolest venues we're gonna be in this year, I think. Anaheim is probably going to be the same convention center. Vegas, that was like one of the top three coolest venues we've been in. And it's another one in the top three. So really excited to go back. And uh, yeah, looking forward to London. Everyone wants to keep ashes down, but I'm like a fucking phoenix. I rise from myself. <laughs> <laughs> Are you recording? Yes. <laughs> one shot, absolutely, 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 absolutely. Yeah, so after Mexico, uh, Praise moved back to New York. He wanted to be with his family, and the rest of the guys had just moved into a house together. So you've kind of got like a pot of four of them living in one house, a roadie all the way on the East Coast in New York. Uh, I've got my spot with my girlfriend, and um, it, it's it's kind of affected our practice a little bit. We were struggling a lot online, like we couldn't even win a map against some teams, which was, it was pretty weird. It was like the first time that we were uh, struggling pretty bad online and there, there wasn't a reason to it. Like we couldn't find a problem to it. Like uh, we were doing everything. We were going over like VOD. We were like, uh, you know, we were telling each other like, what was going wrong and we just couldn't really figure it out. We used to be able to scrim in the same house, you know, in that, in that optic content house, being able to be side by side, have that LAN atmosphere. Uh, gives you a better practice environment. But now we're, you know, doing the whole everyone sitting on Discord thing. People might be a little bit late and you can't really go knock on their door. So, and it got to the point where like the frustration was gone and we were just laughing at how ridiculous it was that we were getting beat up so bad by teams that shouldn't be able to touch us. And uh, then finally Easter Sunday, Jesus came back and so did we. <laughs> So obviously this is the last Gears of War 4 event and the pressure is always going to be there. Uh, you know, we're expected to win, you know, the most dominant team. But uh, just because this is the last event, uh, there is probably a little bit more of a pressure because it's the last event. You know, everybody wants to win this last event to close out the season and going to Gears of War 5, you know, just everyone wants to be, you know, who, who was the last team that won that last event? So uh, this is probably the biggest event that we really want to win. Like we're treating this like a champs for us, like, a, like Call of Duty champs, we're treating this event like a champs. You know, it being the last event of Gears of War 4, there's definitely that extra like, okay, this is where we seal our legacy. This is where like our dynasty, you know, we, we say we were and we are the best of Gears of War 4, no questions asked. Because if you end on a loss, then like, you know, the other 15 wins don't matter as much because you're not the best at the end. So uh, we really want to finish out strong. We want to show that, you know, this was our game and we're going to carry that momentum over to the next one. So uh, there's that added pressure, but I don't think it'll affect us too much. Um, I mean, there's been a lot of good times over the years. You know, we, uh, we've had a couple different rosters. So, you know, obviously there's the, the memories of like the low times when we lost to Mexico. That was our first tournament loss ever. Hector was there. Um, 
and he was there to support us. He gave us a big pep talk afterwards. Um, so that was one of the first moments where we really got to like get close to him and, and we got to go through that moment with his guidance. Um, when we lost in Vegas, that was our worst placement ever as a team. We got fourth and, and that was a really rough moment. And I remember, you know, like how the team kind of bounced back from that, the, the drama that came after with the roster changes and everything. But, you know, on top of that, there's also the moments where we won two events back to back without losing a map. You know, we, we've been on an incredible journey together through this game. We've gone all over the world, Mexico, Paris, London, all over the United States. And uh, we've done all kinds of things that we didn't think we were gonna be able to do in, in Gears of War, let alone esports. So it's uh, pretty incredible to reflect on all those moments, the laughs, the, the frustration, everything. It's, I think it's what makes us so close as a team. You guys have been here throughout the entire time. Like it's probably it's pretty crazy. We uh we got picked up for Gears of War 4, and now we're uh, we're heading into the last game. And I just want to thank every single one of you guys that has ever tweeted me or you know uh, the team and uh, just supporting us throughout you know winning or losing because it means a lot, man. You guys you guys are like family. You know all these watching visions back and all that. It's just it's really like it's it, it makes me feel really good that I'm able to play for you guys and you guys watch me and. Uh, <laughs> Damn, man, it's, it's like kind of hitting me now. It's like the last event coming up. But um, yeah, man, I just want to thank you guys so much for everything because like, we, we, we really wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys. Thank you.